Hello everyone. In this short video we're going to show you how to open a point cloud file and convert it to a mesh and do a little bit of editing on the mesh in RhinoCam Mesh. So let's open the part file and we'll use the default uh, Rhino settings for uh, point cloud files. Okay so here's our mesh and you can see that it's uh, the mesh of a turtle and we're going to use RhinoCam Mesh to turn this into a mesh and um, do a little bit of refining on it. So let's go to the RhinoCam menu at the top. We'll drop it down and pick the Mesh module. And we see the RhinoCam Mesh uh, browser on the left. And in the data tree, you see that we have a point, one point cloud uh, file, and that's what we're looking at. So what do we do to make a point cloud into a mesh? Well, we're going to convert it uh, into a mesh object. So from the Create tab and RhinoCam Mesh, we'll pick From Point Cloud. We'll select our point cloud, right click, and you pro provide you some options for uh, creating the uh, mesh object from the point cloud. Uh, I won't go through all of these options, but we're just going to use the default options uh, for now. We'll pick create. So Ronicam Mesh is calculating all of the points and it's converting it into a mesh. And you see now in the data tree, we have one mesh and we have one point cloud. So let's turn off the point cloud. And if you don't, if you don't see these check boxes where you pick this little icon right here, it toggles hidden objects in the tree. So we're going to toggle those hidden objects in the tree. And we're going to uncheck the point cloud. And then also over here on the display in, in Rhino, we're going to uncheck mesh wires. That will allow us to see uh, the object. Okay. So you see we have a relatively incomplete uh, mesh object from the point cloud. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to analyze uh, this object, this mesh, and see exactly what we got going on with it. We'll go over to the repair tab and we will select diagnose, select the mesh, right click and we'll run, there's a number of checks here in the dialog that it's going to run on this particular mesh. So you see we got uh, 28,000 open edges. Um, that could be a problem if you're going to machine this. You don't want any open edges in your mesh. So we're going to go, you can fix each one of these ind individually or you can fix them all. Uh, there's a command up here for auto fix. Let's go ahead and run the auto fix. Select the mesh, right click, and RhinoCam Mesh is calculating the mesh. Okay, so we see here that after auto fix was done, we now see that we have a closed mesh. Let's do a diagnostic again. Select the mesh, right click, run the checks. So you see that we have zero open edges. That's what we want. Uh, initially, have, there's some other things here that we can fix. For example, we can fix the short edges. You can just pick a little fix box to the left, to the right of it. And we got the short edges down to 91. But you see by doing that, we increased our open edges. So it's a give and take here on each of these fix areas. So let's go ahead and run the fix to close the edges again. And then we'll come down here and see if we can fix some of these large angles. Pick fix. So there, uh, that looks a lot better. We only have uh, 30 open edges, but we uh, dropped our large angles down by quite a lot. So let's go ahead and pick the fix on the open edges again. Okay, so now we got uh, a, a mesh that's closed and it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and see how many triangles we have. 151,000 
triangles in this mesh. And if you want to see up close what the mesh looks like, you can see that it spanned all of the gaps and filled it in with uh, extra mesh triangles. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a remesh and then a smooth mesh, see if we can get this smoothed out a little bit. So we're going to go to the Inspect and Modify tab. We're going to pick Remesh. We'll select a mesh object, right click, and we're going to do a uniform uh, option for remeshing. Uh, the edge length we're going to set to 1. This is in millimeters, so it's one millimeter. And then we're going to go uh, four iterations. And we'll pick Remesh. OK, so basically it remeshed the object. All the meshes, all the triangles look uniform. And we got rid of a lot of the, uh, uh, in, I'm going to call Aranus, um triangles and that looks pretty good even the uh, even the span here up on the neck where we had no meshes at all it uh, it uh, fixed that up pretty good okay so what we did a remesh now let's go ahead and do a smooth so we're gonna select our mesh right click and we're gonna do a vertex shift direction I'll let it deviate in both directions this is the in and the out in order to smooth it out and we're gonna have a, a distance of four millimeters and we're gonna do five iterations so it's gonna go through the first iteration then it's gonna smooth it again and again let's see what it looks like okay so here's our smooth again and that looks pretty good. Let's do some uh, inspection analysis on this mesh. We can do a curvature. And this is a curvature analysis of the mesh that we created uh, from the point file. And you can also do uh, a Gaussian uh, analyze the mesh that way and you can also do a reflection line and this is what it looks like on a reflection line analysis of this mesh so what did we do in this short video we opened up a point cloud file in the rhino mesh we converted that point cloud to a mesh object and because the mesh object there was some missing point data we uh, repaired the mesh in RhinoCam mesh so that we had a closed mesh, we refined the mesh, we smoothed it, and then we also analyzed it.